Hi, and thank you for watching this video. This is a very important video to watch because it is a prophetic word that the Lord has given to me concerning the body of Christ being hungry and thirsty for His word. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness. And we know that's the word of God. We know that's the, the godly things. For they shall be filled. Well, how are they going to be filled but by those individuals that have stored up the Word of God on the inside of them, and they are become storehouses uh, to be able to distribute uh, the Word of God, to give the Word to those that are in need, to those that are hungry uh, and thirsty for the Word of God, for righteousness. Behind me, you see uh, a store a storehouse for grain, a hundred years old, uh, that is behind me. This is an old silo that was used to store up the grain for cattle and for uh, sheep or whatever uh, they had uh, to feed. And we are those storehouses. You know, in, in Genesis chapter 41, uh, it says that Joseph was put in charge of the grain. And he went out and he gathered the grain and gathered the grain. It was so much grain that he lost count. It says uh, in Genesis 41, it was beyond measure uh, that he gathered this grain. And he put them into storehouses. And then as the famine uh, raged through the land. And they see, there is a famine today in this land for the word of God. Not for bread, not for for meat or our bread, but it's for the Word of God. You do not hear the Word in every place. You know, in the, the body of Christ uh, needs to be that storehouse of the Word of God that we might be a help to those in need, that we might be able to give them the truth, and the truth shall set them free. Are you a storehouse today? Do you desire to be a storehouse it says in Timothy, study to see, show yourself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we must study the word. We must have a, a relationship with the Father, with the Son, who is the word, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to reveal all truth to us. And as we begin to deposit that word on the inside of us, then... We shall be full, and we shall be able to distribute that grain. Hallelujah. And grain also means abundance, that, that it also means life. And so, as we distribute that abundance and distribute that life, then others can live. Others can be brought into the kingdom of God and escape uh, the, the terrible things uh, that are going to come upon this earth. Uh, when there is no no bread, when there is no meat, uh, when there is nothing uh, to eat, uh, that the those of us that uh, begin to store up that grain on the inside of us, the Word of God, then we will have to give to those that have need of it. I urge you today, this is a word for the body of Christ, that there is coming a time in the days as short days ahead, uh, that there shall be such a hunger and a thirst that people will be running uh, to the church buildings. They will be running to Bible studies. Uh, they will be running uh, to evangelistic services uh, for that word because they are starving. It's a time of desperation, uh, the Lord told me this morning. And so I say unto you, be a silo. Be a place where God can store up His Word that you might distribute in the times that are ahead. God bless you today. I pray if you need healing in your body, that you be healed by the stripes of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you do not know Jesus today, I pray for your salvation, that you will give your life and your heart to Jesus today. Just call upon Him, and He will answer you. For those that are in desperation, I say unto you, find someone who has the Word of God stored up in them and begin to partake of the, of the inheritance of the Lord. 
begin to, to, to eat and to drink of the Lord, and you shall be filled. Thank you for viewing.